Are you looking to save money on your AWS bill but not too sure where to begin? Well, you've come to the right place because in this video, I'll be sharing with you five simple ways to start cutting down your cloud expenses today. Now, these aren't just going to be random tips. These are tried and tested methods I personally recommended to AWS customers during my time as a solutions architect. So whether you're new to AWS or you've been working with cloud for some time now, keep watching because you're going to want to hear these strategies. Okay, here's the thing. When it comes to cost in AWS, it all boils down to two main factors, usage and Rate. The cost of your AWS bill is equal to how much you use multiplied by the rate that they charge. And so you can either optimize usage by making sure you're only using what you need, or you can optimize for your rate by paying less for what you use. Sounds interesting, right? But before we dive into the top five ways, I want to give a quick shout out to Antimetal, a company dedicated to helping you significantly trim down your AWS bill. With Antimetal, you can effortlessly save up to 75% on AWS. You don't need any engineering skills and you don't have to sign any contracts to get started. All it takes is one click and 30 seconds to get your savings automated. We all love a good discount from time to time, but I think the way Antimetal works is even more interesting. By using an AI model, they analyze a bunch of factors from your account to make sure you get the most out of every dollar that you spend. All you need to do is approve Antimetal's recommendations and they take care of the rest. During my two years as a solutions architect, I came to realize something. Many large companies who use AWS actually have a team dedicated to optimizing and managing their cloud expenses. That's how important it is for them to save money. But if you're like me and don't have a full team behind you, Antimetal can stand out as the go-to solution. Oh, and by the way, Antimetal is free for all startups. So make sure you head over to antimetal.com forward slash tech with Lucy to get started with reducing your AWS bill. Thank you Antimetal for partnering with me on this video. Okay, so tip number one is to delete unused resources. This may sound obvious, but if you don't delete resources that are no longer needed, they can quietly eat into your budget. Old instances, snapshots, and volumes, all of this can quickly add up. When I worked at AWS, I often saw clients neglect old resources. If they had taken the time to monitor these resources, they would have been able to save a decent chunk of their AWS bill. Regularly monitoring your resources and removing those that are not in use can help you make sure you don't waste any money. This also applies if you're a student or individual developer. You might discover that you have temporary projects that you've forgotten about still lingering in your AWS account. One tool I'd recommend for this is the AWS Trusted Advisor. It can help you identify unused resources and recommend ways to optimize your infrastructure. Now, if we think back to our equation from earlier, um, cost equals to usage multiplied by rate. And so by deleting unused resources, we're directly decreasing our usage, which in turn lowers our overall cost. The next tip is to right size your instances. Right sizing is all about matching your resources with the actual workload needs. You can kind of think of it like wearing the right size shoes. Anything too big or too small can be uncomfortable. Similarly, if you use instances that are larger than what's required, it can lead to unnecessary cost. So what we want to do here is identify resources with low utilization. By stopping or right-sizing these resources, we can reduce the cost. For example, let's say I'm using a T4G large instance where my rate is about 67 cents per hour. If I find out that I actually just need a T4G medium instance instead, then my new rate goes down to 3.3 cents per hour, which is only half of what I paid for. To identify underutilized instances, you can check out the AWS Cost Explorer, a service that lets you understand and manage your AWS cost over time. And this tip ties right back to our formula. Cost equals to usage times my rate. By right-sizing your instances and bring down the rate, you're able to directly lower the cost. My third tip is to reserve and commit whenever possible. Reserving instances and committing to them for the long term can lead to significant cost savings. AWS offers reserved instances and savings plans, and both options can provide massive discounts compared to the standard on-demand pricing. For consistent workloads that you know will be around for a while, such as one to three years, reserving and committing them can be a game changer. You're essentially buying in bulk and locking them at a discounted rate. As you can see here, with AWS savings plans, you can save up to 72% with a flexible pricing model. You can choose between Compute, EC2, and SageMaker plans. But be careful because overcommitting can actually end up costing you more. What I mean by this is if you lock yourself into more resources than you need, then you might find yourself stuck with unnecessary expenses. You may still be getting a discount, but you're spending more than you have to. The key here is to carefully evaluate your long-term needs and only commit to what you actually use. Another way to optimize usage and save costs is to enable AWS AWS auto scaling. Auto scaling is all about automatically scaling your resources to meet demand. By having AWS automatically adjust your resource levels up and down, you can make sure you're never over provisioning or under provisioning. This way, you only pay for what you use. Auto scaling is available at no extra cost, and once you set it up, you'll be able to find the perfect balance between performance and cost. Now, tip number five is to schedule on and off times for your resources. If you have any instances that don't need to be running 24/7, then turning them off is like turning off lights when you leave a room. 
It saves cost and it saves energy. For example, if you have an instance that only needs to run during nine to five business hours on Monday to Friday, then you can save up to 70% by stopping the instance during the weekends and during the evenings. One useful tool for this is the AWS Instance Scheduler. It automatically handles the scheduling process for you so that you don't have to automatically turn your instances on and off. All right, now that we've covered the fundamental cost saving strategies, here are three bonus tips that will help you save even more on AWS in the long run. The first one is to utilize the AWS free tier whenever possible. This lets you experiment with new ideas without spending any money. The second one is to stay up to date with the latest changes in AWS services and prices. By keeping an eye out on what's new, you can take advantage of the changes that could lower your cost. And bonus tip number three is to consider leveraging third-party tools or consulting services like Antimetal. This can offer a fresh perspective and help you uncover hidden insights. So there you have it, five simple ways to save money on your AWS bill, plus some bonus tips to help you cut down your cost even more. Don't forget to check out Antimetal in the description below to leverage their amazing offer for startups. If you found this video helpful, please remember to give it a like. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.